Welcome back everyone to the Cat's Meowth and another Once Wednesday. I'm still pretty excited that one of the Once Wednesdays was successful and we were able to mint out the Rockets Mewtwo in my collection, which will be featured in the binder update for today. So uh, I'm hoping for another good luck streak and hit another mint replacement card. So I thought since we were uh, successful with one of the hollow, older hollow cards, maybe we would bump it back up and and give another EX card another try. So this is the Holland Phantoms Crawdun EX. Now it's not that valuable of a card. Um, about five to six dollars. Uh, you know, I could probably go up a little higher, maybe seven to eight in value, um, since we're probably you know we're going to be talking some sort of a trade. Um, now. Yeah, it's, it's it's so hard to tell the damage um, just by looking at it. Uh, looks really nice dead on. Um, looks great in the binder. But if you catch it in the right light, we can see a crease right up there. And then there's a nasty one that actually... Let's see if I can catch the light right. It goes from here and then it travels through this little... Um, um, hydro pump or whatever he's coming out. It's it's kind of cool though. The the wrinkle actually blends in with the hydro pump, disguising it. Um, I'm trying to think. I uh, I don't think I remember seeing any other damage on the card. There's really no scratches. Uh, a little bit of surface wear. Um, uh, not really any. A little bit of whitening right there at the corner, but um, other than that, nothing too significant. It's pretty much just uh, you can see the crease more. Uh, well, not more, but uh, the bend more right there. Uh, the wrinkle really you can't see at all from the back. Um, it's just pretty much in the front. Um, but I am looking for a near mint mint copy of this, so no scratches, no surface wear, no bends, um, a little bit of whitening, you know, on the back is okay, you know, so you, you can get that just from it be being bumped around in the packs. Um, uh, as in the case of the last card, uh, the person that traded it to me was very nice to send some pictures ahead of time, uh, just so I could confirm the condition. Um, I know it's a little hard, um, to, to be able to check for every imperfection, so I do appreciate that. So, uh, beautiful card, hope we are able, uh, someone out there has a mint copy that they are willing to trade, and now let it, let's update the ultra rare binder so that I have something to trade you for it. And here is the ultra rare binder. Prices, uh, well, values are listed in the description below so that we could hopefully work out a fair trade. The only things that are not for trade are these three Rayquaza at the bottom. I'm trying to sell them for a friend, $4 each. Although, as they have not been selling at that price, um, we will probably consider moving down to $3 each. So if anyone would like to make that offer on any of them, uh, please feel free and we can go from there. So there is my Damage Rockets Mewtwo from a few weeks ago. Uh, I went over the damage very uh, detailed, I, sh I should say, in that video. So if you would like to see that on a closer look, uh, please uh, feel free. Once Wednesday, Rockets Mewtwo should be all you need to put into the search bar. Uh, sealed Dragonite, Sealed Sycamore Trainers, and Sealed SP Radar Trainers. Uh, the Charizard is reverse and slightly damaged, and the Chirum is Korean. I'm sorry, uh, that's not Chirum, uh, Reshiram, sorry. <laughs> Um, we have a gold Groudon at the top, uh, for Fall Arts uh, going all the way through Florges. These three are Japanese, everything else is in English. I threw in the Full Art Jap- uh, no, sorry, not Japanese. Full Art Jirachi as well, just because I think they're kind of cool. And we have one Florges break. Everything is mint to near mint, unless I have otherwise listed below. And I've tried to detail the dis uh, in the description uh, what the damage is for anything that is not mint. Um, otherwise, the cards go by set, generations, fates collide, um, ancient origins, primal clash. Finishing off with the standard cards, uh, we go into standard promos on the left and then into expanded cards on the right, starting with legendary treasures. Promos starting with, I believe, Darkrai. Aspex. Cresselia level X, and these are all promo level X at the bottom. A few primes, staff tournament promos, 
uh, non-staff tournament promos. Banned Moo Moo Milks in Japanese, um, banned for obvious reasons. Shadowless First Edition DCE, a Ampharos with a crimp top, and a, uh, I believe, German Rare Hariyama. Now we get into some of the Japanese Ultra Rares, Ace Specs, and everything is listed in the description below in the order that you see it, um, all by release. So we're starting off with the black and white sets. I always mix up the actual names of the sets, which is why I've listed them below in the order that you see them, so you can look up exactly what you would like. And we are well into the X and Y sets now. And then we have also thrown the Hollow Energy into this binder. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, we do still have some promo Japanese and an Unlimited Shaman. Uh, not a promo, just Unlimited. And then starting with the metal, we have Hollow Energies, including one spare Psychic and one spare Fire in reverse from Generations. And then a, we still have a, about a, almost a page full of the Sealed Magikarp Target promos. So... Um, ideally, I would love to work out a trade for the Crawdon EX from Holland Phantoms, um, but everything of, other than uh, those Rayquazas, of course, are for trade for anything else that is on my wants list. Um, I do list all sorts of other cards from base to rising rivals, things that are in my co uh, collection currently, but I'm trying to mint out. So there's lots of other ultra rares there. There's a few more ultra rares in the promo section um, and lots of Japanese ultra rares as well. So hopefully you can find something that I'm looking for and of course if you don't have anything to trade everything is available for a straight sale as well so i hope we're able to work something out looking forward to another successful once wednesday and i hope everyone will stay tuned for tomorrow when we show another lego pixel build